The democracy dividend he has been bringing to Agwata 2 constituency. Official commissioning of the project and welcome song we are the highlights of the day. Queen Anibogo reporting for ABS News. The Vice Chancellor of Peter University, Achina, Professor Chuku Emenam Mwesingwa, has called on musicians of Igbo extraction to promote Igbo language through folk music to save it from extinction. The Vice Chancellor made a call at a music seminar held at the headquarters of the Anambra State Universal Basic Education Board, OKA, organized by Libra Entertainment in collaboration with the State Ministry of Culture, Entertainment and Tourism and Rotary International Zone 38. Correspondent Chukwe Mekamodilim filed the report. Besin the gathering, Professor Gome Zimwa, who spoke on the importance of music to humanity and commerce, explained that the event was aimed at promoting music by encouraging professional musicians and unprofessional ones to play music in public and private arenas so that as music is a universal language. Good that we begin with ourselves, make our music strong, our traditional music. The Vice Chancellor, who is also a Reverend Father, urged great Igbo musicians and the upcoming ones to always market Igbo language by promoting folk music like Mr. Mike Ejaga. Ali Chukuma, Osita Osadebe, so that Igbo language will gain global recognition, even as he appealed to government and well-to-do individuals to encourage young musicians by sponsoring good traditional local and Christian music composed in Igbo language. On his part, the Commissioner for Culture, Tourism and Entertainment, Comrade Don Onyenji, represented by Mr. Onochie Ibukwe, advised music lovers to desist from listening to music that will influence them negatively. The from the Honorable Commissioner is that uh, music there, uh, our youth, they should learn to celebrate music. And they should also know the type of music that they listen to because music influences life. The chairman on the occasion, architect Michael Okonkwo, noted that music is a great unifier that appeals to everyone and advised talented musicians to play more of music that has good content and the Igbo meaning in order to succeed in their career. In his speech, the director of general studies, Paul University Oka, Dr. Azubike Nkala, charged the youth to choose right what they want to do in life so that they could be fulfilled. The traditional ruler of Umweru, Igwe Bennett Emeka, and his Umawolo counterpart, Igwe Joel Egwonwu, also highlighted the importance of music to humanity and called for the establishment of more music departments and tertiary institutions to encourage those who are gifted in music to study it as a course. The program saw music lovers from St. Patrick's College St. John of God Secondary School, all in Oka, entertain the gathering with special tunes. Why the program, which was convened by Mr. Eze Onwundi of the Program Department of Anambra Broadcasting Service, was coordinated by the Assistant Governor, Rotary District. 9142, Mr. Abuchi was in Oka Chukwemeka Mordelim ABS News. The Governing Council of the newly established Apex College of Nursing Sciences, Ibuku Agwata Council area, has been inaugurated. The Apex College of Nursing Sciences, situated at Ibuku, is the first among equals of a private initiative by Apex Specialist Nigeria Limited to train capable hands in the nursing profession for the country and beyond. Correspondent Kenechuku Chukodi now completes. The proprietor of the Apex College of Nursing Sciences, Professor Uchen Nawusu, he has been motivated to provide Medicare for rural dwellers 
since after his graduation from Harvard College and has remained true to his ideals, especially with the nursing school coming upstream. Professor Ngusu revealed that the shortage of nurses worldwide is in the region of 5.9 million, which the International Council of Nurses ICN projected in 2021 that over 13 million nurses are required to bridge the gap in 2030 as the college is poised to raise professionals. He charged council members to be fully committed for the tax of making the college take its pride of place in the country in no distant time. FX has also advanced from training nurses assistants to establishing a college of nursing sciences to which you have been called upon to serve as the governing council. In his acceptance speech, the chairman of the governing council, Barista Ifani Chukura, said it's a great honor and privilege to serve the institution and that the board will remain committed to its vision and goals and take the APES College of Nursing Sciences to enviable heights. Our institution has always been committed to the core mission and values. I pledge to uphold and advance this present. I envision a future where we will be a research point in enhancing educational quality. The member representing Aguata Federal Constituency at the House of Representatives, Honorable Dom Okafor, appreciated the proprietor, Professor Wunsu, for his contributions to healthcare in Ibuku and have no doubt that the college will grow to enviable level under his leadership. Thank him so much for all his commitment to this community, to the medical profession. I believe that it's going to be a school that other people will be coming to learn from. The Anambra State Director of Nursing Services, Mrs. Perpetua Anene, described it as remarkable and appreciated the proprietor for ensuring that all criteria set by nursing and midwifery council were met. In the same vein, the chairman, National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives, Anambra State, Mrs. Edith Onwoka, said establishing the nursing college is a giant step taken by the proprietor, Professor Nwusu, noting that given his trajectory in medicine, the nursing school will definitely be one of the best in near future. Mrs. Charles Ibudum, an architect and member of the governing council, appreciated the proprietor for his lofty dream and inspiration, adding that members of the council are forced to take the nursing school to greater height, urging Nigerians to take advantage of the prime nursing school. Symbolic handover of the school accreditation document, law establishing nursing colleges, and the proprietor's autobiography, Wrapped Soy, formed high point of the event. From Ibuku, it's been Kenetuku Chukodi for ABS News. If there is anything a mother could wish for it, will be for her children to honor and celebrate her. This was the case of Mrs. Angelina Okaka of Obwendida village on Icha, whom her children celebrated recently by supporting and sponsoring her initiation into the prestigious Utoda Society of Onicha. Staff reporter Emengina Sadebe, who covered the initiation ceremony held at Imobi Obweza, reports that the event attracted over 140 members of the society. Her report. It was a beehive of activity as groups from different walks of life came to celebrate with Ezordo Angelina Okaka, whose Igwe Gordo was celebrated previously. Speaking during the initiation ceremony, the Vice President of the Society of Furniture, Enyi Dibweze Uchukwento, charged the new member to abide by the rules and regulations binding the society and shunned any act capable of punishing her image and that of the association. Speaking to the ABS, Son of the celebrant, Comrade Kunonso Okaka, and his wife, Feyimwa, expressed gratitude to God for a dream come true, saying that for a woman to be well recognized in Onicha, she must belong to this group of constituent heads, and that was why they deemed it necessary to make their mother happy by supporting her. And uh, for a woman to be well recognized in this society, the person must belong to other titles in Onicha. Her twin daughters, and Mrs. Ifeimon Sakwe said their joy knew no bounds as they celebrate their mother, saying that the celebration is for initiation and thanksgiving to God as they have fixed the date of the initiation before now. But due to ill health of their mother, the occasion was shifted. 
Happy and celebration, Thanksgiving, celebration of life. But can I put that man on guard? Her last daughter, Miss Tata Okaka, who is also the Chief Executive Officer of Tata Media and Tata Collection, prayed God to grant her mother long life for her to enjoy and reap the benefits of being a member of Ujodo and Echa. On his part, the celebrant's younger brother, Mr. Don Mikweke, who disclosed that his sister is the first Ukure Naka daughter to take all the title in Onija, prayed God for protection upon her. The celebrant, after the initiation ceremony, took a name, Amy Kotikunyeme Angelina Onaka, and wished to be addressed as such. In an interview, Amy Kotikunyeme Angelina Onaka, who pledged to abide by the rules and regulations providing the society, prayed God to grant every member of the group long life while calling for more intended members into the broad society of Onija. High point of the event includes the initiation proper, washing of hands by the celebrant points, welcoming of the new member by old ones, and any dance by members as well as paying of homage to the celebrant by various groups. From Imo Biogoza, Onija, and Nguyen Sarebe, ABS News. To come on the news, Cardinal Onayekon says silence in the face of justice is crime against humanity. Ukraine destroys Russian drone base. Here is a special message. Governor Chukwuma Saluda has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. We shall be taking a break. Stay with us. Welcome back. The Emeritus Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, John Cardinal Onayeko, says silence in the face of social injustice is a crime against the gospel of Christ and the nation. The Emeritus Archbishop who stated this at the inauguration of the Catholic Social Teaching CST program for the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, CSN, and agencies of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, in Abuja, said that beyond evangelism, the church must inculcate communication on justice and peace, all encapsulated in its social teachings. ABS Abuja Bureau Chief, Princess A.P. Ajide, now reports. 
A Catholic social teaching, according to Wikipedia, is an area of Catholic doctrine which is concerned with human dignity and the common good in society, which addresses oppression, the role of the state, subsidiarity, social organization, social justice, and wealth distribution. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, had requested that staff of these agencies be thoroughly trained, capacitated, and equipped with the fundamental tenets of Catholic social teaching. It is against this backdrop that three organizations of the Catholic Church in Nigeria crafted a tripartite collaborative program to train trainers who will step down the training and continue the training. In a keynote address, the Vice Chancellor of Veritas University of Nigeria, Abuja, Reverend Father Professor Hyacinth Pichoku, said all hands must be on deck as everyone, irrespective of class, tribe, or status, has something to contribute to the society, adding that CST will address various social concerns, including politics, healthcare, climate change, education, and social inequalities. You know, people who have access to anything they can imagine in Nigeria today are people who don't have anything. The Director of the Department of Church and Society, Reverend Father Uchitupo Pudichina, and a representative of the Catholic Relief Services, CRS, Anselm Moke, said the program will foster a deeper understanding of social justice and the church's role in society and was designed to equip the staff of the bishop's agencies with comprehensive knowledge on CST. As Catholics, we do not necessarily program in areas of reproductive and sexual health, particularly when it relates to contraceptive. In Abuja, Princess A.P. Ajide reporting. Instead, satellite pictures show the destruction of a Russian warehouse used to launch Iranian-made drones and to train cadets. The photos posted by Ukraine's Navy follow reports of a massive explosion near a Russian airfield in the southern region of Krasnodar. Moscow has yet to comment on the report, but did say it has shot down a number of drones in region overnight, while Navy officials in Kiev said a number of training instructors and cadets learning to operate the Iranian-made Shahid drones were killed by the attack. In a post to Telegram, Navy officials in Kiev told the operations was said the operations was planned and conducted in partnership with Ukrainian intelligence agencies. According to Russian installed officials in occupied Crimea, three people, including two children, were killed in a Ukrainian missile attack on the peninsula. Mikhail Razvozev, who was installed by Moscow as the regional governor in 2020, said almost 100 people were injured. In our sports, Chelsea are still working to close a deal for Napoli striker Victor Osimhen, despite claims that they had moved on to alternative attacking options. The former Lille striker is confirmed to be on the way out by Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis, despite successfully trying to tie him down to a new contract until the summer of 2026. Paris, Saint-Germain, Chelsea and Arsenal have been considered the leading contenders to sign the Nigeria International, although the Gunners will certainly not shell out a nine-figure sum to acquire his services. Meanwhile, a recent report claimed that new Blues boss Enzo Maresca did not view Osime as an ideal fit for his system, instead seeking a striker who can drop deep and link play rather than an out-and-out -out target man. Concerns over breaching profit and sustainability rules could also hinder Chelsea's ability to sign Osime, who has been tipped to fill the boots of Real Madrid-bound Kylian Mbappe at PSG. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow us at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube at ABS Television Oka or next at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And now a recap of the main points. Anambra lawmaker Mobike has built toilet facility at Agulez de Chuku. Musicians of Igbo instruction have been urged to promote Igbo language through music. Cardinal Onaikon has said that silence in the face of justice 
is crime against humanity. Ukraine has destroyed Russian drone base. To end the news, the special message again. Governor Chukuma Sorodo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that was it on the news for tonight. Thank you so very much for watching. My name is Maureen Stone Enujoki. Good night and stay blessed.